While the girls start their three-week journey toward a state title, the boys are jockeying for position in their districts. Going into Tuesday, District 7 6A was down to DeSoto and Duncanville, both tied at 10-1 and, and in first place. What made this game even more intriguing because of the realignment changes last week, Duncanville will be leaving the district for the next two years. So the Eagles and Panthers went at it in district play for the last time for at least a couple seasons. It's our Quicken Loans game of the week. The winner of this one thought they'd have the inside track to that district title, but an ugly incident after the game changed everything. We begin with the basketball. Stephen Quinn, nice first quarter, knocks down the three off the inbounds pass. A little later, Jacoby Pearson, Tracks down the loose ball, drives to the hoop, flips it to Quinn for the easy layup there. Panthers up 14-10 after one. Here come the Eagles. Chris Pryor finds Levante Chenault in the corner. Buries the three. DeSoto ties it at 16. Then on the break, Ferran Hunt lays down the hammer dunk. DeSoto's up 28-23. But as time's running out, Cameron Massey open for a three ball. Knocks it down from the corner off the nice bounce there and made it a two-point lead for DeSoto at halftime. More than enough as the Eagles would dominate the second half. On the break, Hunt leaves it for Chenault, who knocks down the floater. Chenault with 16 points to lead all scorers. And finally, Roderick Mason gets the steal and makes the sweet pass to Duncan Powell for the jam. DeSoto runs away with the 67-46 win.